glad we hung out. That's Me been too. nice. Me yeah. too. It's Mule. nice to, yeah. It's nice to hang out with people like doing similar things, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just like got myself on a train of thought by Can we saying switch we sides because I'm better with my right hand. There we go. Yes. Do you know, do you ever think about, um, like there's two, two words that I, in Polish that make me think a lot. Like I can't uh -huh. help. I have no new thoughts, but every time I kind of stop. And one of them is miwa and miłość. Uh huh. That like love is has this word miwa in it, which is nice. Uh -huh. And like love is like hmm. maintaining niceness. <laughs> wow. Miłość. <right? clears throat> miłość is like niceness. Huh. I like it. I hmm. like that. But the one. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. I never thought about that. The one I don't like is uh, how do you say you're happy in Polish? Cieszę się? Cieszę się, albo jestem szczęśliwy. Yeah, which is like lucky. Lucky, yes. But you know, in Shakespeare times, lucky meant happy. Yeah. And so, happy, or happy meant happy, lucky, sorry. Happy, yeah. The, the root, the, if you go back to what happy means, you're right, it means lucky. Mm -hmm. um, but we've developed it to mean this kind of like self-containing happiness. Mm -hmm not dependent on being lucky. However, I do understand that there, there is this correlation. I, I do think that the, it's interesting though that Poland's word didn't develop past that. Like it's still very connected to the mm, word, word lucky. Yeah. And I think it's because, I think it's reflective of the history. Yeah, like how shitty it was? Yeah, like, like in <laughs> Poland there were, you were aware of lucky times because you yeah. had very unlucky times. Yeah, it's like yeah. a thing I think about all the time. It's huh. like these kind of that's, words that's and wha what they might mean about the culture. Huh. Because you know the way like uh, is it Inuits or, or I think mm -hmm. Inuits have about like 50 words for snow. Yeah. Like makes you think about what's important in a certain culture. Yeah, definitely. You know, you know what I think about? Which way are we going? This way? Yeah. That, okay. This way. So what I think about in, um, in the Polish language that I think, well, I'll, I'll ask you, how would you say in English, żeby zwrócić komuś uwagę? Uh-huh. <laughs> to, All right. to bring to someone's attention. But this is different because it can be like, um, it doesn't have to be. No, I'm like talking a, about like, I was doing this, i ona mi zwróciła uwagę. Scold. Yeah. The American one is meaner. English one. Yeah. But in so like literally, if you translated it directly, it's such a bit it's like to like you said, okay, bring some bring it to someone's attention. I was also thinking like maybe to give someone attention, but maybe it's not the same thing. Zvrucic, yeah. But I was just Zvrucic, does that mean to return? Well, Zvrucic? yes, yeah. I guess it can. Because it can also be used for like lighter things. Uh huh. You, like for you can zwrócić komuś uwagę to not leave their shoes in a certain place, and doesn't necessarily mean scold. Oh, I don't know if I've heard it like that. Yeah, I've always heard it like, "Hey, don't do that." <laughs> That's yeah. what I've always heard. But it's not the same because, like, you don't sh parents don't. Well, maybe I don't know. Would you say that? A mom switch you up jet school vaga? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, you wouldn't? I don't know. I'm thinking there's like a better word. There, ha there has to be another word for scold, right? Um. Opieprzyć. <laughs> Opieprzyć, exactly. I think like in America, it that would be a rude thing to do. Zwrócić komuś uwagę? Yeah. Yeah, especially in public. To a kid? Someone you don't know. Oh, to someone you don't know, yeah, yeah. Like in Poland, it's like. It's more communal. It's like these are the things that you do, and these are the things you don't, don't do. do. Mm -hmm. And if you and if you do the things you're not supposed to do, then some person can actually zruchi stabi uvaga. Whereas in America, it'd be like, hey, mind your own business. If yeah. You don't, if you don't like it, call the cops or whatever. But I think this is less about. I think what? Well, what, as I said, I was gonna say I think it's less about language, but I stop myself mm -hmm. because language and culture is very connected. Right. I think it's this. Uh, this is a cultural thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Because yeah, of um, course. I think this has to do with uh, actually a topic I'm very like interested in. It's like mm. kind of looking at the world as like a culture map. Yeah. And uh, in Poland, you have a lot more common. 
history, common yes. ancestors, yes. Uh, common way Religion. of communicating. Yeah. Whereas in the States, you can't count on the fact that right. uh, your neighbor was raised the same way. So exactly. you can't expect them to have the same cultural norms. In Poland, you Agreed. can. Agreed. So yeah. you can you can say that to someone in public mm -hmm. yeah. and know that they have the same cultural norms and they're breaking them. But in the States, you can't. Very good. Very well said. I, uh, I've never put it in those words, but I, 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 uh, I definitely agree with you. I, I always say this way. Maybe let's backtrack to that one so it's quiet because yeah, yeah. it's a little loud here. Um, yes, it is. So again, I'm just going to yeah. stick with my right hand. It's just mm -hmm. much, it feels weird holding up my left hand. Um, uh, but um, yeah, I always, hmm. you know, that's what like when people ask me about something in America and they say, well, what is this like in America? Or what are people like? What do people eat for Christmas in America? America. What do yeah. What do they do? And I'm like, I don't. There is no. I'm like, solid you don't. Thing in America. I'm like, oh, so you just think that everyone's the same? Yeah. No, no, no. Like, Polish people are the same. Yeah. They even look the same. Yeah. When I when I moved here five years ago. Well, Polish people would get really upset that you said they're the same because they're I gonna be like, no. there's the kashubi and there's the burale and there's the shlonzaki and there's a lot of Germans. I think I think that there's like different types of Polish people. You have yeah. like the more Germanic looking Polish people. Yeah. The more Germanic. Oh, oh okay. Thank you. Dziękujemy. It's illegal of us. Yeah, Thank very you for nice of her. For us. Yeah. So I, I always say there's more like the more Germanic Polish people. They got more blonde hair, blue eyes, they're tall. Then you got the Asian Polish people. You ever seen the like people the that are like really Asian looking? Yeah. Like my sister is very Asian. Really? Yeah, she's just super Asian, you know. So you ever see someone you're like, ah, why are their eyes so squinty? That's I feel like there's a lot of Polish people like that. Mm. But I think in general we have like a lot of like you know you could tell a Polish person compared to a French person or a German person or a Spanish. Well, Spanish that's just a whole other thing. But like, I'm sure you had this in Chicago where you saw someone you're like, oh, they're definitely yeah. Polish, right? Yeah. They're definitely Polish. And I've narrowed it down, thanks to my friends, and a lot of it has to do with facial features. Mm -hmm. uh, high cheekbones, for example, is mm -hmm. a very common trait. High cheekbones, I would say more like rounder faces. There are rounder faces. Yeah. Or the potato face. What do you know about fuck? this? Do you know that, like, no. do you know, like, the, do you know the words Poli Polish people? The hell was that? Oh, that must have been the... I hope it's no Beirut shit. I think it's the... Like they're shooting off cannons or something, oh. maybe, with the thing that's happening in the garden. Oh, wow. Well, it sounds too consistent to not be bad. Yeah. Mm. This reminds me of when I was in Dubai. I was there for the first day of Ramadan, and I was mm. coming out of a restaurant, and they like sh shoot off a cannon to announce the start of Ramadan. I had no idea. My sister and I threw ourselves to the ground. Oh, in, like, my this God, fancy really? It was embarrassing. At but... least someone didn't yell, like, Allah Akbar, you know? Yeah, that yeah. would be. And some dude, like some two dudes, uh, walking in like the white clothes, are <laughs> because we uh, asked the restaurant, we're like, what was that? Like, it's the start of ramen. It's the start of ramen. And my sister and I were like not believing it. And two guys walking by are like, really? It's the start of ramen. And we're like, okay. <laughs> like totally freaked us out. That's pretty hilarious. What did it? What did we? What did that interrupt? What topic were oh, we on? Man. Ah, oh, the faces. Oh yeah. The potato face. Okay, so do you know what like words that Polish people call each other to kind of offend each other? Like ziemiak burak. Yeah, I made a video about this. Oh, recently. okay, okay. And, and, yeah, so. but yes, yes. But why do you? Explain well, that so up? I think there is something potatoy about some Polish people's faces. Okay, okay. It's like this kind of mm. potato shape, hmm. like Humpty Dumpty set on a wall. I guess it depends what kind of potato it is, right? Yeah, like a nicely. Mm. Formed potato, not a oh, bumpy. like a nice round one. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about like a lu like a lumpy one where it's not like a, okay, it's not a lumpy one. I'm not saying Polish people are lumpy, but they are very like kind of th this like potato round. shape, like mm. a slightly longer round thing. <laughs> I remember my sister was telling me how she said how a lot of Polish people like they'll they when they have babies they'll leave their kids like in the baby thing uh -huh. and they just like lay on their head the whole time so it kind of like smushes the back of their head. Uh -huh. So that's why they they have like that flat back of the head. Oh, really? And I don't know if that's true, but Oh, I thought that's a thing that all parents watch out for. But maybe in Poland they're just like It's just screw normal. It. They're screw like, it. yeah. that's the shape of our head." Yeah. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah, it's what you want. Yeah. Mine feels pretty rounded. <laughs> what do our parents do? I don't know. Yeah. Is are you meeting them there? It's going to be that corner, mm, but we can still yeah. kind of like walk around here, I guess. Mm, yeah. Uh, 
a yeah. bit more. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, it's almost four. Yeah. Ah, we can go in that direction. Okay. It's fine. Did you I'm hear about this go. McDonald's? About how it's like the first McDonald's in Poland? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, back, I think like, um, I was going to say the 80s, but that doesn't sound right. It might have been like the, the late, the, either the late 80s yeah, or early 90s. 90s. And this McDonald's was the first one. And when they opened it, that there was lines that were just, you know, just huge, like a kilometer long. I know? believe that. Uh, I remember when I was in Poland, like 2007, mm -hmm. and they, they, my friend, or my friend, my cousin was like really excited to go to McDonald's with me mm -hmm. in Krakow because they opened some new one, and I was like, oh. And McDonald's totally tasted different than in the states. Oh, yeah. Like they taste a little different mm -hmm. everywhere now. Yeah, yeah. But then it was like. What is this? Wow. This doesn't taste to me like... Well, did you hear, did you see that breakfast sandwich they had recently? The Twaroszek? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so Polish. Like, it is probably so as Polish. bad as a Polish kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was really, like, pleasantly surprised. I said, oh, that's cool. I heard uh, McDonald's in India is crazy. Um, well, yeah, there's a little different things everywhere. Japan has some, like, slight differences, too. Mm -hmm. I just remembered she said a hotel sounds chicken. Ah, which, right. Like, oh, that's where the hotel is. Uh, okay, I gotta walk that way. That way. Wait, because that's go. not Schwinbuch's. Did mm -hmm. I mess up? I don't know. You know, this is, we are on Schwinbuch's. I'm gonna let her know that I'm by McDonald's, not by Novo Hotel. Okay, got it. Ah, uh, okay. Like, I keep forgetting that it's summer. Okay. Because the weather's been so ridiculous. That I'm just like, oh, it's like winter in Florida. And I'm like, well, this is an exceptionally warm winter day. <laughs> this is, uh, I was actually gonna ask you how you feel about the weather because you're from Florida. Yeah. Um, people were like complaining to me about how hot it was. I was like, which <laughs> day? Yeah, I know. It's Today ridiculous. Today is like pretty warm, but. Yeah, and, and then they're like, what? Poland isn't a cold country. And I'm like, listen, if you think this is a hot day, Poland is a cold country, all yeah. right? That's just, that's just the fact, all right? And they always counter it with like, well, we don't have polar bears. Everyone thinks we have polar bears. I'm like, I don't know anyone who actually thinks that. But when I was a teenager, I've heard that. Oh, really? But it was, I was, but they were stupid teenagers. So, yeah, they asked me, are there polar bears in Poland? And do we eat seals? That was a real really? question. And do we live in igloos? Yeah. Okay. So. But I they were exceptionally dumb teenagers. Uh, so. I didn't have that level. I guess that's the benefit of growing up in a primarily Polish neighborhood. <laughs> Everyone's kind of like, no, man. Yeah. It's kind of like this, but poorer at the time. <laughs> Minus the igloos, yeah. <laughs> Minus the igloos, yeah. Do you, do you remember being in Poland when you were younger and like there, was, there were like three skyscrapers in Warsaw? I never spent much time in Warsaw. No. Me neither. But I did go um, with my parents on a trip or two, right? And I have photos and I remember like uh, there's this one photo that I, I dug up a few years ago that just shocked me. It was yeah. uh, taken from the Pawas yeah. and the only skyscraper in the whole thing yeah. um, was either it was either this way and it was the Intercontinental or it was uh -huh. that way and it was the Mario. Okay. Uh, and everything else was flat, like you know, like the two, three, four, five stories. I'm sure they had the blocky though, right? Yeah, but those um. Like these were, I think, here before. Okay, right. Actually, I can't remember how it was. Mm -hmm. Well, it was just from one side, but then I, you know, like you come back and there's all these skyscrapers. There's like a yeah. street that looks like, if you come from, from over there, uh -huh. it looks like a kind of, like a, like a really high city when, you, mm -hmm. when you're driving that way. Yeah, like a communist changed. New York. <laughs> I like some of the communists. Yeah. Which way are you going there? Uh, straight. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I do too. I remember I lived in when I, I lived in Wrocław. I lived in like this really old, shitty gray communist building, uh -huh. and I thought it was cool because I'd never lived in a block before. So I was like, whoa, I'm a real Polish man now. And I was like, oh, look at me, guys, I'm a communist. You know, like that's how I felt. So it was historical, you know. Yeah. And everything they had everything around like they literally right there. It was just like ugly, but still they had a they had a barber shop, they had a little tiny grocery store, they had um, restaurants, terrible restaurants, but still. And I thought, you know, this is just enough to not have a revolution, you know? <laughs> this is fine. This is just fine. So, I like the I like it in Warsaw that it that um 
there's this very nice mix. There's mm. some of the older looking buildings, there's some of the communist ones, then the really kind of new high rises. Mm. And I think as the city develops, that's going to be a very cool part of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I mean, I can't imagine what this city especially is going to look like in 20 years. Yeah gonna be crazy like it's gonna be totally different. yeah we're, we're like hopefully we will be here in 20 years and like remember when uh, we yeah. walk around talking about it look at these buildings in 20 know? years we'll do a video <laughs> reacting to this video yes yes exactly oh my god we were this, so young i can't believe there's there that skyscraper isn't there back then <laughs> i thought that was there forever exactly or like they'll get rid of some of the older buildings too you know so maybe yeah we'll see <sighs> all right well, I think we could finish up here. Bye.